what's your guys? Alan Tiacher, uh, Detectorist, uh, how are you all doing? Uh, I just, uh, it's just spur of the moment, I think there's a bit of common land here guys, which I'm going to have a go at. Uh, it's loads of molehills, so nobody will mind me digging down here I'm sure. But if someone comes along then I'll move along, but uh, it's just common land, it's, uh, and I have got camp council permission, so I should be alright. Uh, it's just around the corner from my house and I've always been and wanted to have a go at this place guys. So it's all meadow land there, all through the woods guys, so it looks quite good. I've just come on my bike today, I'll show my bike all kitted up with the uh, Garrett Ace uh, 250. Alright guys, just to show you my setup, uh, the way I get my uh, Ace 250 on my bike. Uh, I take the top part off there, just dismantle the top part with the two press studs there guys, and just lay that down, leave the cable there. Lay it down, let's tie it on with the bungee and the shaft for the actual coil. Uh, I've just strapped it to the side of the bike here. I've got the big nail coil on there, so it's a big coil, guys. Obviously, keep it away from the wheel, keep it away from the uh, steering there as well, guys. Tuck it in there by the side of the battery. I've got it last in with bungee cord here, last in with bungee cord up there, and that's secure as ours is, guys. It's not getting in my way of my feet uh, when I'm pedalling. That's perfect guys. I've checked minimal gear in the back as well, my pin pointer, uh, a bit of cleaning stuff as well guys, small shovel. But I could get the big shovel on there as well if I wanted to on the other side. So that's ideal guys. There you go, that's my bike set up for my metal detecting on the go. Lovely job Lee, catch you later. With a nail coil on it guys. Uh... It's just a small kit that I bring out with me on these impromptu in and out digs. Uh, but uh, we'll give it a go, you never know. Uh, there's a medieval church just over the back here, about 200 yards from me. Uh, there's a, a mansion house here, which has been there for a, oh, a couple of hundred years, I should think. So uh, there might be something around here. It's all new estates over there. Here we go, guys. I'll let you know on the first hole. Good luck, peeps. Watch you guys. I've uh, been at it about 10 15 minutes, and there's lots of uh, iron, which is quite deep as well. Uh, I've got a feeling just this lower pasture here gets to the older woods there. There's some big old nearly oak trees there, so that's not uh, uh, that's old land over there. But I think this lower little bit of a pasture is landfill from this uh, estate when they did it, guys. So uh, I don't think I'm going to get much joy here. I'll give it a couple more swings around here, but say it's. Uh, and I've only got my small uh, spade with me, guys. I've got the black, uh, the black Ada, that one. So I've only got a small spade with me today. I haven't got a big spade, so I don't want to go deep anyway. Uh, so I'm going to move up a bit towards those uh, nearly oak trees. There's lots of elms and uh, ash over there as well, guys. That's all old stuff. Uh, there's no old trees in this lower part of the meadow, so that's what makes me think it's a bit of a landfill. And that estate over there. I mean, it's about 10 years old, that estate. But uh, we'll move over there. I'll have a little bit of a drink, a bit of pop, a quick vape, and I'll move on. Till later, guys. Be lucky. All right, guys. I just uh, spent about 20 minutes on this one hole. It's, yeah, it's all definitely landfill on this lower part. So I'll go up there a little bit in a minute. But just to show you what comes out of a landfill, guys, I've got a mixture of stuff there pottery, iron, brickwork. Uh, that piece of brick there, that's got, uh, it's definitely got whitewash on it guys, as you can see there. So whether that's Victorian or what, if anybody knows anything about bricks. There you go guys, quite a small brick. Uh, it's not perfectly square, but uh, I don't know, perhaps that's of Victorian cottages are knocked down, I don't know guys. But uh, a lot of this uh, white glazed pottery, if anybody can put a date on that guys. Uh, there's no markings or anything, I can't see any markings. It's just a white glazed furnished pottery. Loads of bits of that, guys. There's another bit there. Again, I don't know whether this is, uh, I don't know, early 20th century, I don't know. It's uh, quite a bit of that pottery, guys. So there's nothing on it. That's got a little bit of a, a rim there. There you go. I uh, don't know whether they're handmade or what, I don't know, anyway, that's the pottery bits. Uh, that there, it looks like it's off a kettle, that does, guys. An old kettle, I don't know. Just spout off something. I really don't know. That's the type of stuff I'm finding, guys. Um, I think that's quite a, an old nail. It's a square nail. Looks like a hand forged nail, guys. Oh, that wind's not too bad. Try and protect you from the wind. I think that's a hand forged nail. 
So that could be uh, going back as far as medieval, I don't know. Or Right guys, this is the uh, first half decent single of it today. Uh, let's have a look. Just there. Just bouncing between the ring port and the end. Uh, it might be a coin, but uh, believe it or not, that's the best signal I've had all bloody day. We'll give it a dig guys, and I'll come back to you. Hope it's not more bloody rubbish. I've got two clods out of there guys. Uh, it's not in the hole no more. It's inside that one. Let's go down and have a look. Oh, this is something interesting because it's, uh, it's been a bit of a struggle today. But it will do with no permissions, guys. I'm just scratching about some bloody common lands. It's a bit of a pain to be honest, but uh, hey, uh, it's just nice to nice to get out to get my bloody breath back. The sun's starting to set now, so uh, what we've got in here? Anything, or is it going to be one of those ghosties? in there somewhere surely yeah. Yeah. is it a bit of tin file or something are you falling out this is going to be a bit of tin file isn't it stuck in that bloody grass you watch i'll get back at you in a minute guys well it was a nice signal best one i've had all day guess what <laughs> A nice round of piece of silver bloody file. <laughs> oh, it's not going really well, is it? Oh, not to worry. I'll keep plugging away. Uh, so I've got another, uh, another, another three hours before the sun goes down. Uh, I'll keep plugging away, guys. It's a nice mild night. It certainly beats sitting inside the house, even though it, if it is a crap field full of rubbish. So hey ho, you don't know this, do you? Try, do you guys? Uh, Give these fields a go. It's, uh, it's all I can do at the moment, I'm afraid, uh, which is disappointing for the channel uh, because uh, people want to see nice digs, don't they? Uh, I might go on some organised digs. There's quite a few going on in my area lately. Uh, one or two of them turn out to be disasters, uh, as I hear on Facebook, so it's a bit... I'm a bit weary, but uh, I may try one just to get out there, just to get swinging more than anything. But it is a lovely day. Which I'm surprised, uh, but say all this, all this meadows, all the meadows around these estates. Blackfields, looks like it, doesn't it? Looks like it, even though there's old trees everywhere. Strange. We'll keep plugging away, be lucky, peeps. Right, guys, the sun starts to set now, still plugging away. Uh, my bike's over there, hidden in the trees. Uh, still finding lots of rubbish. Uh, got a nice signal here, I think it's out here. Oh. It's still in the aisle. I just want to just double click that signal there. I took all this discrimination down there, guys, as you can see. There's a nice ping in there. No, it's still in the aisle. Let's get me pointer on this, guys. Let's have a look. That's settling, son. Ping pointer on. I need some batteries for this, so I think they're going. It's uh, making some funny noises. It's just there, I'll run it. Oh, oh, I can see an edge. You see that edge there, guys? I found the first coin of the day, just there. Hook it out together. Here we go. Oh, yeah, it's round and it's in the bloody ground. Oh, bloody hell, at last. This makes it, unless it's a washer. <laughs> uh, makes a bloody change. You've been going all bloody day. Oh, what's that? Guys, I'll just put my glasses on and we'll have a look at this one. Bear with me. 1997. It's got a lovely uh, patina on this. I know you can see that, guys. Yeah. It's got a nice patina on it. For 1997. There you go. 22 years ago. Well, at least it's a kind, guys. And it's a lovely sunset over there. So the sun's going down. I'll give it a couple more swings, guys, since I found one kind. You never know. I'll keep plugging away. Well, oh, up to that 50p, I found a penny, two coins in the last 20 minutes, guys. I'm plugging away all bloody day. And, uh, oh, it's too deep for me, too scratchy, too deep. Been plugging around all day and I find two coins. Okay, they're modern coins, but, uh, oh. That's a nice signal and that's in the surface, guys. 
that's really close. I'll get me pin points on this. It's right in the uh, in the mole hill. Thank you, mole hill. I probably brought this one up. It's always best to check these mole hills, guys. I find quite a bit of stuff in these mole hills. It's there somewhere. It's not deep. Oh, there it, there it is, and it's round. Let's show you in on that one, guys. It's another coin, but yeah, three in a row. What is this one? Probably another modern guy, it's all modern stuff there. Let's turn that pin pointer off. Uh, I think that's a tempe. Is it an old tempe? I don't, just have a quite closer look. Yeah, that's an old tempe, guys. Again, it's tarnished nicely. Must be a nice saw around here. You can find some um, ancient stuff around here, they'd be in brilliant condition because of modern stuff. Got, it's, most of it's got this lovely tarnish on, which is quite nice, makes them look quite handsome. Uh, even though it's only a 10p guys, uh, don't know what the date is on that. Uh, third coin, bloody hell, I'd have been bloody struggling on this bloody... Uh, I think it's Greenfield land, I'm sure it is. Uh, with rubbish under there, uh, but hey ho, what more can I do? <laughs> but uh, it's been a good few, I've been out, been out about three hours now. and. Uh, but uh, in this, just in this pasture here, it must, it's probably where people sunbathe, I don't know. Maybe people sunbathe here and drop the coins so on this higher land with the sun over there. Maybe where people relax and have a picnic in the summer, I don't know. I'm waffling guys, right, so I'll give it a few more swings. And... Right, trying all different variations of numbers on this to uh, try and get rid of the tack, guys. Discrimination, I've got it. Uh, Set just for coins, hopefully. Um, uh, as you see, there's plenty of signals bouncing around on there, guys, but uh, I don't want those. I'm fed up picking up uh, tin cans, tin foil. <laughs> but uh, we'll make our way back to the bike, and uh, I think I'll call this a day. Still not a loss, but hey ho. It's not all glory, metal detecting. Unless you get a nice permission, that is. <laughs> Little peep there, what we've got there. Yeah, it's bouncing around. Those bouncy signals like that, guys, I'm not going to bother. It's got to be a solid signal for anything worthwhile, it really has. See, that's steep, I ain't going for that. But, uh, hey ho, hey ho, hey ho. Oh, to work we go. Still, beach sitting in the yeah, in the house, doesn't it? Uh, I'm still fine trying to find permissions. I'm going around asking various people, and farmers and whatever. Well, that's quite promising. Did that bounce to pouring then? Is that a, could that be a coin? Right, well, I'll dig that one up, and that'll be the last hole today, guys. Back at you in a bit. Right, so we've got a clod out, let's go back in. It's out, it's out. And it's in the clod. There's a nice signal this is, I've got a feeling this is a coin. So, the last three holes, guys. Bloody marvellous. Uh, here for three hours, sticking up rubbish all over this bloody field. The last three hours, I've, I've had three coins. Uh, one, one was there, I think. One was over there. One was over there in that uh, mole hill. I've come over here now, and this is a good signal. Uh, same signal as those three, so I think this is a coin, guys. So let's get plugged. It's there somewhere. There I am. A nice end to the day. If this is a coin, and not a round piece of tin foil, where are you? I've lost it again. There somewhere. Where are you, little bugger? Are you... Oh, it's on the floor there. Oh, what's the matter with this? My bloody battery's going to stop it. Just calibrate it. But down we go. It's moved over it. I'm pushing it all over the place. It's getting like, oh there, oh, 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 shut up, shut up, shut up, be quiet, be quiet, Mr. Garrett. 
You see that guys? There. It's going on this a bit guys. It's another bloody coin. It's probably a modern again, but uh let's get that out. Come in with me. There we go. Is it is it penny? Oh it's very nice. It's probably a penny guys. I can't see it's getting pretty dark now. Yeah, just bear with me, I'll just put my glasses on, Charles. Ten a penny, it's a 5p. There we go, zoom in. Let's get it close to the ground, so get it. Look at the patina on that again. I think it's his soil, guys, because it's lovely soil. The patina, I know it's modern stuff, but this has probably been in the ground, I don't know. I can't see the dice on there, can you see the dice on there, guys? Is it 19? 1996. Yeah, I think it's 1996, but look at the patina on that, it's gorgeous. Look the other side. Here you go, guys. My fourth coin in the last four holes after digging about 40 holes of rubbish. <laughs> I know it's only modern, guys. Uh, right, I think I'll fill this hole in, guys, and I'll call it a day. I'll turn the camera around and uh, I'll sign off, guys. Watch you guys, there you go. Uh, end of another quick session. It's a quick, uh, just a few hours. Uh, it's just nice to get out uh, with the uh, Garrett again because I've not been out for a long time. But, uh, well, I enjoyed that in the end, even though it was only some um, moderns, but they're in absolutely beautiful condition, guys. You know, all four of those coins in perfect condition. The patina on them is lovely. So it must have something to do with the lovely soil here, I don't know. But uh, nice condition. It's uh, find some old coins here. They'd be in nice condition as well, I'm sure. Uh, it must be all down to the acidity and the soil or something. I don't know. You guys know more than me. But uh, there you go. So the last four digs, four coins, four round in the ground on the last four holes after struggling in this <laughs> in this green field. But uh, yeah, there's a lot of tat in there. Uh, there's a lot of uh, Victorian stuff as well. Uh, a bit of pottery, quite a bit of pottery. Uh, we found a few jugs and stuff and cups and all sorts. But uh, there you go, guys. That's just a quick one. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. And uh, you'll be lucky out there, guys. And um, we'll see you on the next uh, dig or the next wall camp or the next drone flying or the next metal detecting. Uh, all on outside stuff on my channel now, guys. I'm trying to mix it up a little bit. Till later, you'll be good. It'll probably be a wall camp next time, guys, because I've sorted out a nice spot for a wall camp. So I hope you join me on that. Uh, a bit of bushcraft and everything, guys. Till then, you'll be lucky, boops. And from Alan T, catch you later. Ta-da. <laughs>